How to Make a Melody in FL Studio 2021. What's up? This is Attic from 808 Beats. I'm going to play a quick melody for you. And I'm going to show you how you can uh, easily do a melody just like this. I'll go ahead and delete everything out. Start from scratch. So when you're making a melody in FL Studio, you're going to do it in the piano roll. You should be familiar with the piano roll. Basically, I have mine set up where you can see the notes on the left-hand side. And um, you may or may not realize that there are some tools to help you make melodies in FL Studio. One of them is actually the scale highlighting. So you can go on the uh, view and scale highlighting and you can pick a, a, a note a root note and then whatever type of scale you want so i'm just going to have c and then go major and then i'm not sure if you notice but if you're paying attention in that piano roll you'll see that the light gray backgrounds like here where i have my cursor moving right here where i just dropped this note and then you have the anywhere in these light lighter rows if you paste the note it will be essentially in that same scale so you could essentially drop notes in here now there is a, a couple different versions of it you have like an automatic version where you can um have it where it'll automatically set where notes can go and where they can't go and you see like this is on a black section drop that here so let's see and you can hear like essentially uh, those notes sound good together now there's a much easier way than trying to go trial and error and do it by ear and essentially attempting to get those in you could just drag in some MIDI for some chords and you're good to go And if you don't have some MIDI for your chords, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can find some exactly like this. So once you have entered that information in or dragged in that MIDI for those chords, you can go into whatever the instrument is that you want to actually make a melody for or make a melody, use to make a melody, I should say. And then if you go in there, you can see again, notes that you have on a different channel are highlighted in the piano roll. So it becomes pretty simple. So when you're creating a melody, you have notes, which are basically the building box of the melody. Your chords are kind of like the foundation for the actual track. And again, those melodies will be building blocks upon that foundation. So when you're making notes, you have a couple of things that you can modify. You have like the duration, you have the velocity, you have the timing, you have the length, you have the octave. So you click that first note. However long you want to make that note is part of what the note's gonna sound like. So, let's go half. Try to think of it as a pattern and try to think of it as being symmetrical in some sense. And if you do that, you should be pretty, it should be pretty straightforward as to how to make a melody. So we'll go, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and down across these, across the entire scale. So in each column, I want the note to begin at the beginning of that bar and then the second note to finish at the end of that bar. So we're going to do that for each of these columns. So again, each column we're going to have a note that starts in the beginning, right here, and then ends at the end of that column. And again, we're going to make sure that when we paste these notes, they're going to be exactly on the same notes where the scale or where the chords are being played. So that way that melody stays within the same scale. It's pretty straightforward. Now there's a multitude of ways you can do this in terms of creating patterns. Um, so that way you would never kind of run out of making melodies. So, as you can see, we have this now. So 
So the next thing I want to do is adjust the velocity. So I usually like the first note to kind of be louder whenever I'm adjusting the velocity. They don't have to be perfect, it just has to be somewhat different. Um, the velocity is definitely one way you can kind of change up the notes, make your uh, mel melodies sound less robotic and not like it was music made on a computer. Next thing you can do is go up in here to tools. You can do a quick quantize. And the next thing we're going to do is stretch out the note on the first, first note that hits in each measure. There's no rule as to how long you can make these. I'm, I'm just making them a little bit longer. And then on those ones that I made longer, I'm going to go ahead and bump up the velocity a little bit. And that's it. You made a melody. Once you do this, it's easy to pretty much change up the melody. You could do go ahead and hit Control Click, highlight the notes, Control Up Arrow. Bring them up an octave. You can do the same with, let's say, the bottom notes. It's another way to switch it up. Let's just go ahead and delete this entire melody. And we can start and make a different melody. Let's instead make the, the note um, a little bit longer. And then we're gonna say, we're gonna hit the first note on the top note of the scale in each bar. And then we'll do the last at the end of the bar on each scale. And again, if you just think of it as like a symmetrical pattern that you're kind of pasting in or clicking in, generally the notes will sound good and then you can kind of play it by ear. So so if you listen to that, you might say, hmm, maybe it needs something like this. Or so let's see what that sounds like. Again. say on, on every other we want to make sure that note gets hit which would basically be uh, on the second um, particular note on the scale and then again here on the second and then for this first and the third we'll go ahead and do we'll do the front note and the second column so we'll go like that and see what and then we'll again we'll adjust the velocity so we'll go doom doom Doom, 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 and then we'll play that. And there you go. Pretty straightforward on how to create a melody. If you look below this video, there'll be a link to where you can download some MIDI chords in order to build in your own melodies, as well as some free loops and some free MIDI melodies to use as, as however you see fit in your own projects. 808beats.com. Check us out for more tutorials on FL Studio.